you still use basic hobbyist laser cutter. When laser cutting sick materials, a hobbyist laser can provide accurate and satisfactory results. So today we are gonna show you how to laser cut 25 millimeter plywood using a professional CO2 laser cutting machine. Let's get down to business. On the left, we got some four millimeter plywood, and on the right, a whopping 25 millimeter plywood. Unlike others, we are cutting uniform holes on these samples to show you laser's precision and its incredible small curve cuts in action. Now the four millimeter plywood is perfect for crafts, decorations, wall art, signs, and whatnot. But for stage sets, props, and interior design elements, the 25 millimeter plywood is where the serious stuff happens. If you want precision, flexibility when cutting 25 millimeter of plywood, methods like CNC router bits or table saw just can't deliver. A professional laser cutter is your only option. In our line of work, we recommend two laser cutting machines for plywood: the standard and the extended. You can choose from a laser tube with an output power ranging from 100 watt to 600 watt or more for both of them, depending on your needs. However, the definite difference between the two is the size of their working area. If your laser tube output is below 300 watt, the standard setup covers everything you need. But if it's higher than that, we will need some modifications to get those top-notch cutting results. Let's start with the working area. Instead of knife strip working table, we suggest the pin working table. Why, you ask? Because with high power and slower cutting speed, the table underneath could get damaged during cutting. The pin working table ensures a rock-solid setup because it minimizes laser table contact. Now, keeping things cool is crucial. You will need an upgraded water chiller to handle the laser tube heat. The upgraded version, unlike your standard one, it covers not only the laser tube but also the reflector mirror and focus lens, ensuring peak performance and longevity. And here comes the air compressor. An air compressor offers three to five part compressed air, cooling your material, preventing it from burning and blowing away those unwanted fumes and debris. On screen is what happens when you don't use. Them. And don't forget to pair the oil water regulator with your compressor. It filters out grease and moisture in circulation. But hey, the fun doesn't stop here. We want to hear from you. Share your experiences and examples in the comments or on social media. We are all ears and eager to see your creation. So. Today we conquered the task of thick plywood cutting. Next time we will show you how to mark and engrave wood using a Gavo laser marking machine. Stay tuned, folks, and don't forget to like and subscribe, 'cause we are just getting started. Cheers to laser technologies and happy cutting!